Posted up a video earlier talking about how cloud gaming has some hurdles to overcome. And one of the things that's always mentioned is they say, look, the majority of the people do not have fast enough internet. I mean, they don't even have fast enough internet to really uh, download HD 1080p movies and stream them, much less a game. And so internet speeds are something that I don't think it's moved near as fast as what it should have, or at least what you would hope for it to. And I think the average speed is still around like 8 megabits per second. So if you look at America, the average download is around 8. Now other parts of the world run faster and some run slower. But overall, a lot of people's internet is pretty damn slow. So, how is that going to get faster? And a lot of people look to places like Google Fiber who are rolling out in towns and a lot of people are hoping that it shows up in their neck of the woods so they can sign up and get one gigabit per second downloads. And they are offering these speeds at pretty good prices. And so everybody wants that type of connection, of course. And a thousand megabits per second. I mean, you can download full HD movies in a matter of just minutes. And now that we are entering a day and age where games are like, you know, going to be 40 and 50 gigabytes and even more uh, here pretty soon, you want a fast connection so you're not sitting there downloading all day long if you do decide to go digital. So a lot of people say, it's going to take years and decades for the internet to catch up. And so they don't expect this technology like cloud gaming and all this to be uh, really something that's, that's mainstream for a long time until internet speeds are able to catch up and you get rid of latency and you bump up the bandwidth that people can get through the pipes. And if you think the days of you having one gigabit speeds at your home are way out into the future by probably decades, then you may be in for a surprise because you may have one gigabit speeds a lot sooner than what you anticipate. And this isn't just for the U.S. We're talking about uh, anywhere that anybody would decide to do this. So there has been a company, Bell Labs, you might have heard of them. They're a division of another company. And they have set the record for the world's fastest internet connection. They clocked in at 10 gigabits per second. So Google Fiber is 1 gigabit per second. This company made it 10. And what's more interesting, other than the fact that they were able to, you know, go crazy on the internet speeds, they also did it on existing copper lines, meaning that just about everybody's home is already wired for this type of connection. Now, not the 10 gigabits per second, but they do say the majority of people are already set up and could probably be placed on a 1 gigabit per second connection depending on their copper lines that are already ran through most people's homes. So this is a huge breakthrough because of course this would save the ISPs a ton of money. They wouldn't have to go out and run fiber optic cables to everybody's home. And so this would be great for freaking everybody. Now, this isn't ready to go mainstream just yet, but they do say coming up in 2015, which is right around the corner, they are going to start rolling this out in different areas. So hopefully, especially with Google Fiber coming into a lot of different neighborhoods, this might be something that a lot of ISPs are going to be looking at in order to stay caught up to the competition and being able to deliver these high speeds. So if you want to read more about it, links down in the description box. As always, stay tuned right here to this channel and to VGM for your latest news. That does it for me, the Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.